All right, we're back to this E250 Super Duty on the air conditioning charge. You've seen in the last video, I put 850 grams inside, so it is now filled. I have it running at a, a roughly 1100 RPMs. Our duct dash temperature is staying steady somewhere around 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Our intake fresh air temperature right here, I have the sensor, the probe is back to here. This is where it takes in the fresh air. It's 72 degrees going into the vehicle, 40 coming out of the dash, fresh air. That's a 32 degree delta right there. Now let's go up. So we're traveling at roughly 16 PSI on the suction side. 112 on the liquid high side. All right. Now look at our temperatures. I got the, well, here's the temperatures. You see my clamps? I do not have the liquid clamp on the liquid line. I have it on one of the suction lines. There's two suction lines here. Okay, one goes to the evaporator through an orifice tube. So if you see this dimple right here, this is where the orifice tube is located behind this nut. When you open this up, you can pull out the orifice tube. So I am taking the temperature of the line. You can see how the line bends right there. I am taking the temperature of the refrigerant that is just coming in after the orifice tube in a semi-liquid state. Right here, it's hot. See this line right here? This is a hot liquid right here. Semi-gaseous liquid state right there, entering the orifice tube and then coming out cold on the other side. As you can see, this is cold right there. This is the suction line. This is coming out of the evaporator. So the refrigerant is going in this direction out of this big line going back to the accumulator. It comes over here, it drops into the accumulator, then it goes back into the compressor. So I'm just taking the difference and looking at the difference of the temperature. Uh, where did we go again? Where, where my temperature? Right there. So we got uh, the temperature difference, the drop. It's coming in at 47 degrees. So we got about an eight degree drop to 35 degrees. So we have eight degrees difference in temperature of the inlet and the outlet of the evaporator now let's let's look after the accumulator so we're going to take where it says 35 degrees we should have a pressure drop going through the accumulator so let me take it off after the evaporator and let's clamp it on and unfortunately ice is a crummy conductor of heat i got to get the ice off there because you cannot conduct heat through ice and yes ice is heat and ice does not conduct uh, heat very well. It's an insulator and so I don't want ice there. So I'm trying to get, now you see it's 32 degrees. It dropped and you go, why did it drop? Because there's a restriction. There's a resistance and the resistance is having to travel through the accumulator is another restriction. And what happens when you restrict the refrigerant and you keep dropping it? It drops in temperature and pressure. So my pressure right here and temperature is not the same as if I had a service port right here, this pressure and temperature would be different than it is right here, but they're both on the suction line returning. Every time you go through a bend, a restriction, uh, a muffler, anything, everything adds restriction to the flow of a fluid. And yes, air is a fluid, gas is a fluid, yes, a fluid, everything is a fluid. The air is a fluid water is a fluid you have to get out of the mental blockage of thinking as fluids as something solid like water in your hand when you get into fluid dynamics you'll learn that all right so that's it for this video i need to get going i see i'm i'm late i already should have been on my way to my next so that's it for today on videos i've done my deal make another video tomorrow see you guys